Hello, hello, and welcome to a new episode where we are being joined by Rob, an aspiring member of our community. Welcome! <laughs> hello! Uh, how Rob. lovely it is to see you. Who are you? No, oh, no, no, that's no, not no, how no, this no, works. No, 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 this is not how this works. We ask you how, who you are. Who are you? Okay. Tell us hello. now. Hello, random person. My name is Rob. I am known as SQL DBA with a beard in many places, but also known as Rob Sewell. I, I make things. I, I help customers to, to automate things. And um, yeah, that's me. Does that include automation of gardening? Because I, I hear there's huge spiking demand on that in mm. our community. Automation of gardening. No, there's no. I, I hate gardening. I but wouldn't it be better if you could automate it? I was going to say, if you hate it, that's all, all more of a reason to actually automate mm. it. So, so what, what we do is we buy plastic grass. Ah. Uh huh. No need to water that. And no need to. All you have to do is brush it. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? You have to brush <laughs> your plastic grass? Well, yeah, because it gets leaves on it. Oh, okay. I was thinking for tangles and then I was thinking about my hair and I was like, I've never brushed this. Why would you have to brush your grass? <laughs> Not that long. Okay. Because of the leaves. I'm confused. I have no idea what's happening here. Um, but I guess the situation that's normal. What's I happened is we've gone down a ridiculous tangent within two minutes. So just normal. And true oh. story. It, it, it is sounds like we are on track and on theme and on brand and by the way, on, on steroids. Well, welcome, to, welcome to meetings with Jess and Roll. <laughs> <laughs> and Ben. He's just as bad at it. <laughs> this this three-person dream team here is... We probably should have invited a moderator. Yeah, but chair, that, chair that would not be fair on any moderator. True. <laughs> because oh. even people that know all the three of us would not have any idea of what they're really getting into there. But anyways... Uh, let me try to fully professional circle back to what we actually tried to circle achieve back. here. Oh, and great. that is circling back and showing our shirts. Oh, yeah, shirts. So with that having gotten out of the way, <laughs> yeah, we were debating earlier that it is a shame that with the setup that we both have, it is almost impossible to entirely see the shirts we're wearing. So it is almost a waste of time that we usually switch shirts between episodes. Nobody knows. It is almost a waste of time to wear shirts, but we're kind of... That's what I'm saying. I know, I know. Can't you just paint one on? Change it, change its color each week? That's what AI is for, yeah? That's what wow. AI is for. I, I mean, I've, I've been wondering for years now what that thing is. That makes perfect sense. Anyways, anyway, three minutes into the episode, back. I have a question. Rob, besides all that automation things and stuff, do you have a favorite automated or non-automated data thing? E. A it has to be one. Data thing. I think my favorite data thing is in enabling people to do what they need with their data. Mm. Intriguing. Interesting. Most pleasure is actually building something so that. All the clever people who know how to train models and write algorithms and do all of this crazy stuff can actually do it on something that works and is is secure and is available and, and all of those things. So it's maybe not strictly technically data thing, but that is my favorite thing. No, I like that. I mean, why are we keeping all this data if we're not using it in a in a useful way, right? So also, we did allow Azure Defender for read back then, so I think um, we we can allow that one as well, right? If you want to know about the my my favorite data, my favorite data is the data that I gather when I am cycling. So my heart rate, my cadence, my power, how far I've been, how high I've gone, those are the things that that I enjoy reading and looking at and analyzing for myself. When you say analyzing, are you pulling any conclusions and actions out of that data? Absolutely, because 
I am seeing um, the pleasure of knowing that I am getting faster and fitter and lighter and doing segments quicker. And nobody and likes a show off, Rob. Understanding, yeah. So, so like in in all seriousness, I have gone in two and a half years from being in the bottom ten percent of the Strava list to being in the bottom fifty percent, which yeah, is that's awesome, fantastic. It's fantastic. So what you're I mean, saying is we switch places in the Strava list? Is that what happened? No, because because you do that crazy thing, don't you? You you go running. See, not anymore. I don't do anything. So you're not as That's crazy. So this is perfect. So I, I understand how this thing works. I remember I've watched some of these episodes. So I've got to tell you about um, uh, a cycle ball because Jess and I are going to go play play cycle ball next week. It's amazing. It's only happens hey, to uh, uh, Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fast rewind. A what? It's cycle ball. So, you know, bicycle <laughs> cycle. Farad ball. Yeah, I mean, I keep hearing how you just combine letters and words and stuff, but... So what it is, is it's basically like cycle football, you know, soccer for the Americans. You know. Absolutely, it's definitely a thing. Ben, Ben, I think he's really making up a sport this time. You remember last time when Liz made up a sport? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not only Liz. Hey, I'm out there. I'll go skiing for like 90 kilometers just because I can. That's um, true. That was crazy. Have you started doing doing your power weightlifting yet? Power weightlifting? Mm. You know, we had a power lifter on the podcast. I know. That's why I asked. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, I Gary love- was just competing right after that episode. So Yeah. I, I love how you've told me four times that I'm not allowed to ask you questions, and yet you keep answering my questions. <laughs> Damn it. Because they're po- because we're, we're just friendly and polite. We've worked that out just last week with John. So, <laughs> And this is how we get people into the van, right? A little false uh, sense of security, answer a few questions, come in the van. may or may not have a hidden agenda. That is right. The question will be, is Rob going to be allowed to bring his bike onto the van? We should have a bike rack. I'd like to bring mine too. Definitely. Okay, so now we're, now we're going to have like bike tours with the kidnappees. I'm not sure if kidnap peace is the right word, but I guess so. <laughs> it is now. Are we going to have bike tours? Well, no, I thought that I might go for a bike ride. Wow, they make me dinner. So if they come too, the dinner's going to be delayed. And if we're having yeah, slow food, I don't want to <laughs> wait hours for it. <laughs> yeah, there's that. And I think that should also be a t-shirt, aspiring kidnap pee. Hmm. Possibly not one to wear through an airport. Not. <laughs> or through most well, of life. Yeah. I was going to say, it, it, it might attract a very weird crowd. Yes. Uh, still oh, conversations. That said, at, at the airport, it is better than wearing a shirt that says aspiring kidnapper. So. True. true. True, true. Priorities. Okay. What a difference a single letter can make. <laughs> Changes everything. <laughs> oh, so, um, Rob, when you're not playing with data and making data easier for people to use and collecting cycle data, although this is probably up, up, this is probably not the way to ask this question. But what is your not favorite non-data thingy? My favorite non-data thingy is is definitely going riding. Um, I I love to go and ride my bike because I am too old to play soccer. In fact, I used to say I'm now so slow I can't even kick them. And my eyes <laughs> my eyes are not good enough to play cricket anymore. And if I don't do something particularly to get outside, then I end up fat and grumpy and miserable. So I started cycling. I cycled all of my life, but I, I started properly cycling. And, um, and I love it. And it's it's a great way to get out and do things. My wife now has an electric bike, so she comes out with us. Um, I go out with my best mate from Southampton sometimes, and we go we go riding. And we've started doing it during conferences. So when there's a like a four day conference, actually, um, the last two parachute conferences, we've gone on a group bike ride with 
how many of us were there last time? 20? Oof, yeah, probably close to 20. Yeah, I think it was 18 or something like that, right? Yeah. Um, From all well, across we, the world. We, we we rode up the side of the river out of Prague for, for 14 kilometers and stopped and had beer and sausages and then turned around and cycled back. And it was it was fantastic, really good. But before that, I, I rode by myself and I, and I rode um, 100 kilometers on Saturday and Sunday. And the, the advantage of doing that is it really helps me to to get my head straight for being able to deal with being with lots of people. And in a roundabout way, that's <clears throat> that's a way of saying that my other favorite thing to do is to enable people to understand how they can be better people. So whether it is wearing silly rainbow suits and hats or talking about you know how you should use your pronouns and how you should deep speak to people and how you should you know look out for um non-prominent types of people in our community but also about you know how to how to help yourself how to help you to be more comfortable in this weird world because let's face it most of the folk we have in our technical community it's not an exaggeration to say that you know adulting is hard peopling is hard for us so for sure. any, any way that i can help to do that i think is good and sometimes it's by setting an example and sometimes it's by standing up and and talking about it yeah that's awesome love that i think biking too just to be able to step away like a lot of our hobbies and things we enjoy are in the same space where we work now right and so to be able to go outside and sit on your bike for an hour and see some animals and see some sunshine potentially some rain it's just a good a good change of scenery too right yeah yeah absolutely I, like totally it, it means you can focus on something else you can just mm -hmm. focus on getting that you clear your mind and then there's always the data that you can come back to and look at the app and make sure you've got everything and For guys sure. see how you're doing so that's cool so what you're saying is data will wait yeah of course. Just but just while you're making more data though. Unless it's data in motion, because if it's like streaming data, oh. it will not wait. It will just be but that, that's streaming that's streaming data. Rep, so. Streaming data. It's all good. Yeah, I love that. I mean Yeah, the bike ride in Prague was was awesome. Like it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't a fast bike ride or a intense workout, but to be able to hang out with people from Australia, Seattle, Europe, all over, right? And just bike around a really beautiful, along a, be a really beautiful river and then find a random shack selling sausages and beer. Well, and mostly selling it. that was the part it, but... that struck my attention. Yeah, I see. Food and drinks. I have questions. Okay, because far I'm away. So would sausages and beer also qualify as your favorite food, Rob? Um, absolutely. With, without doubt i love i love sausages <laughs> it's, it's a standing joke in this house about 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 requiring sausages at least once a week um they, uh, particular they're particular kind or yes any particular kind okay Correct. good a variety <laughs> any like, yeah i i i, I love I love sausages. I, I like meaty, tasty, um, from, you know, straight from the butcher, you know, proper, you can get some really, really nice sort of veal and, and exciting ones around, around here. Um, but equally I like, uh, you know, curry versed in, in Berlin, you know, I like a hot dog from a, <laughs> I'd like sausage. Oh. I love hot dogs. Oh, oh, by the way, see shirt. how he again, again, came up with basically a category and just like, oh, yeah, yeah, but my favorite sausages. food is, yeah, but then he made this, oh, oh, it could be a bratwurst, it could be currywurst, it could be a hot dog, it could be this, it could be the, yeah, 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 but it's still a category. It's not like a food that tastes nice. Ben, Ben, have you, have you met, have you met Jess? Jess who? Jess Pomfret, her favorite food she, is food. She hasn't been, I'm not, she I'm hasn't not been sure on the met. episode yet. <laughs> I should invite her one on day. The pod yet. <laughs> yes. So another standing joke is that both of our wives say that we are 
pretty much peas in a pod because yet another of the things that is the same about it is we like food. So when you say, what's your favourite food? It's like, well, well, yes. well right, right now? Yeah, whatever's right here. <laughs> <laughs> because in, in two hours' time, my favourite food will be, I don't know, roast beef. And then, you know, Ooh. later on, on it will be pizza. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was trying to say pizza because um, not as my favorite food, but because that was one of the foods that you've been handed during calls that we've had without me being offered any food. So this is true. This is true. Mm. But yeah, I, 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 I generally, I genuinely just like food. So, so let it's me let, let me like. summarize this episode for everybody, everyone. <laughs> this is Rob. He's good people. He tries to make you good people as well, and he enjoys food. And data. <laughs> and, His yeah, favorite data I'm, thing I'm, is data. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> there is that. That was uh, um, that was a quick episode. Then just just that one sentence. Uh, and some well, questions. Well, now that I think of it, we could have really just made uh, a couple of tweets rather than a podcast. In this mm -hmm. week's tweet, we introduced this and this, but then again, there's people with a very long handle and that would take away from their favorite food. So um, it might still make sense to keep going with that podcast idea. And, and, and don't, don't we have to do like a tweet and a thread and a, and a blue sky and a Mastodon <laughs> and a Facebook and a LinkedIn and a TikTok and a Snapchat and a, I, I don't know. Oh, did you know there are rules? I met my nieces today and there are rules. They have rules. They're allowed to have TikTok when they're this age and Snapchat when they're that. I, I, they told me oh it all. My. They know it all precisely. I must be still too young for TikTok because I haven't got that yet. <laughs> there might be a different reason for that, Jess, but oh. we're not going to get into that today due to the interest of time. Sorry, we totally right. ran out of time, so we can tell Damn. you that you're just too old and missed it. Um, because I've also learned that <laughs> telling people that they're old might be offending to them. So uh, that's yeah, big, that's how we last lost that. lost last week's guest. Was it? Um, so is it your 49th birthday as well tomorrow, Ben? <laughs> well, no. Oh, 29. 29. Are you like? <laughs> and having that said. Thank you for joining us, Rob. It You're was more than welcome. It was a pleasure to finally meeting you. <laughs> I can't wait to cycle with you. It sounds like we have a lot in common. <laughs> it does. What are you doing Saturday? Uh, oh, actually, I'm having a bike ride with you, mate. Uh, actually, right. it was uh, Saturday in the past now because we've done that thing where we reference um, time again. <laughs> yes. However, there's a good chance that even when this will be published, you will have a bike ride on the Saturday right smart, after. So smart, I'm, smart. I'm not I'm not too worried about that specific. No one will notice. Okay, great. See you Saturday. See you Saturday. See you all next week. Bye. Bye, Bye folks.